Thank you guys for coming back to Cobra TV. Don't forget to check out all new episodes of Revenge of the Survivor. You can find the playlist on the front page of the YouTube channel here. But today we're going to be talking about a game called X01. X01 is a very unique uh, game. You know what? It reminds me of Journey. It really does remind me of Journey. Um, and it's super sci-fi. But we contacted the developer and they gave us a demo of the game. And we went ahead and played through it. Now, most of the audio when I was recording uh, didn't record right, and something was going on, and it was a little, uh, when, I, when I recorded, it was a little choppy. So, uh, I'm just going to put some highlights of the gameplay here, and we're going to talk about X01 and what it is and what it could possibly be. The signal came out of nowhere. It points in empty space, light years from any star. After decades of searching the skies, mankind knew it was no longer alone in the universe. We called them the senders. Their transmission contained plans for a spherical exoplanetary probe. We named it X01. The X01 mission has fascinated historians for generations. What was its purpose? Who were the senders? And why did they give us this technology? All we know for certain is that the pilot of humanity's first manned exoplanetary probe never returned. And after the wormhole closed, the pilot was never seen again. At the time, scientists had little idea of the workings of wormholes. Science fiction usually depicted them as instantaneous doorways. However, what our unwilling pilot found was exactly the opposite. This first trip lasted days, and unfortunately, the worst was yet to come. Despite extensive testing of communications prior to launch, all contact with X-01 was lost. The completely cut off. cut off. Back home, Mission Control was baffled by the unexpected departure. Even worse, the senders were nowhere to be found. There was no welcoming committee, no landing pad, or any signs of life. First contact, as far as we know, was never made. After touching down, the pilot picked up an unknown energy signature, then made the following report. Anomaly spotted, a blue beam of light originating on the horizon, projecting into the upper atmosphere, unclear whether man-made or natural in origin. Okay, so X01, it says on their Kickstarter page, uh, which I'll link down below, X01 is a surreal momentum-based exoplanetary exploration game coming to Windows developed mostly by Jay Wetson. Players pilot an alien aircraft capable of manipulating the laws of gravity, use a combination of gravity manipulation mechanics, rolling and gliding to build momentum, and soar across a wide array of exoplanets. Meanwhile, you're following the story of mankind's first ill-fated mission outside of the solar system. It goes on to say, X01 has been described by 
some as Tiny Wings and Journey meets 2001 A Space Odyssey, uh, the game mechanics are inspired by games like Tiny Wings and Journey from PS3 and Tribes Ascend. Every aspect of the game is laser focused towards delivering an entrancing, flowing and exhilarating feeling of movement across a, a range of utterly alien exoplanets. It goes on to say you can wind down and travel at your own pace. There are no challenges, time limits, wars or enemies in the game, as, uh, but as you traverse these planets and otherworldly reverberating electric guitar laden soundtrack plays while a far future historian narrates and presents clues as to what happened during humanity's first ill-fated mission outside of the solar system. Much was debated on the monoliths as described by the pilot. According to the records, these monoliths were colossal geometric structures. However, subsequent missions to Sagan 4 uncovered no trace of them. This led many to theorize that the first planet XO-1 landed on was not Sagan 4 at all. XO-1 story is told partly through the player's strange encounters on the surfaces of each exoplanet and partly through a future historian who delivers a smooth voiceover narration interspersed throughout the game. The pilot flung into an unknown corner of the universe and utterly alone has only the enigmatic alien structures of the horizon to aim for. Where they lead is up to the player to find out. So the story behind the whole thing is kind of cool. In the 21st century, mankind received a signal from a distant point in empty space light years from any star. The signal contained plans for an alien craft which humanity soon built. They called it XO-1, XO meaning external. Uh, from the outside, one referring to the first of its kind. During a regular trial run in a hidden underground facility, the test pilot inadvertently triggered a wormhole to open, pulling XO-1 through to places unknown. The alien technology was so advanced, humanity had barely begun to understand how the craft worked. Its full potential and abilities were yet to be charted. The alien craft appeared to be a marvel of high-efficiency momentum-based transportation. Much of what we know of XO-1's journey, so many thousands of years now in the past, has been lost to time. The events that took place, related data, and records are like an ancient puzzle with many missing pieces. We can only do our best at this recreation. The outer shell was completely frictionless and seemingly impervious to harm while somehow also highly malleable and able to change form. The craft could transform easily between a sphere and a disc, the former used to uh, traverse the landscape, the latter to glide through the sky and maintain altitude. A gravity drive enabled the pilot to shift between high gravity, low gravity, and high gravity mode. The uh, craft becomes inc incredibly heavy, dropping out of the sky at great speed or rocketing down hillsides. In low gravity, the craft was able to maintain momentum and high speed uh, quickly racing up hillsides and launching off into the sky. In combination, these forms of momentum enabled XO-1 to reach colossal speeds, reach great heights, and cover vast areas in little time and without any discernible power source. These were just the first discoveries of what XO-1 was able to achieve. XO-1 features fully 3D procedurally generated planets as the star feature of the game. Each planet consists of several biomes mixed together to create subtle but endless variation. Many planets also contain feature locations that are placed by hand among the procedurally generated terrain. What the game seems to me as, I mean, it really does have a 2001 Space Odyssey feel to it. At the same time, I kind of feel like uh, Journey a little bit. Um, definitely, I definitely feel a strong Journey influence. But the game so far, just from the demo, it kind of reminds me of like a visual novel, kind of. You know, like you're, you're traveling through a game. There's really no objectives to complete except for getting to the uh, big... Uh, monoliths there that are, are portals to uh, space and to another planet. 
um, kind of transports you out to space and and things like that. But but it seems like you're traveling in this amazing, amazing environment, and uh, you're being told a story as you go. Uh, so definitely, definitely journey. Uh, super sci-fi game though, really sci-fi. I'm definitely interested in seeing where this goes. They're not fully funded on Kickstarter just yet. It's almost there. Three days to go uh, at the time of recording this video. As to not being a, an actual game game, uh, more like a visual novel storytelling uh, type uh, product, I can't stress enough how relaxing this game made me feel. Uh, you know, it's it's definitely a stress reliever, that's for sure. It's kind of like it's kind of like playing with one of those fidget toys or the the or the ever increasing hyped up spinner uh, in your hand. You know, it definitely relieves a little bit of stress and it's relaxing. As of right now, there, there's 12 procedurally generated planets. Um, there's a thing where if you back them, you could actually uh, uh, win a chance to name one of the planets in the game. Um, there's also polls for certain backers that uh, can actually give feedback on what kind of planets they would like to see in the game. But like I said, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think down below of X01. I, I would like to see where this uh, project goes. Most sci-fi things related do have me hooked from the start. Well, that is all I have for you today, guys. I'm going to leave the link down below for the Kickstarter. And again, let me know what you guys think about this down below. As always, I love you guys. Thank you for coming back to Cobra TV. I will see you all in the next video. Until next time. Uh-oh. What do we got? Hey, back off. I, I no look. I live here. I'm a local. You do not need to mess with me. Look, I can run faster than you. We could do this all day long. Stop it. Why? Is it because I wouldn't feed you? You got wings and you can't even fly. Your tail's like really, really big. Your head's so small. All right. All right. Look, I'm going to have to put you down if you don't stop. All right. One time, I seen somebody shoot the ground and they ran away. So let's see if that works. Hey, wait, wait. Back off. Back off. Back. Yeah, you scared? I'll do it. No! Ah! Shield is down! You made me do it. Oh, now you got the fuzz on me. Now you got 5-0. Swirling around, he's gonna stare at me. Watch. Watch him stare at me. He did it. Look, he's running. You see that? He did it. I didn't do it. What are you staring at? Make your move, pal.